Bell of the ball outside for Will Walden. They are at the post, and they are racing. Good start for Hey There, American Heights, flashing speed from between horses, The Devil You Say, and up the inside, Cami Cataway in the fourth position. Little Sister Sue, she's climbing up the backside, just got passed by Sitting Pretty, then it's Bell of the Ball, content to track them from seventh. Most impressive towards her inside, The Gray and Kyra with an early run up the backside, to still two back to Votary, and then two words up to the extreme outside, and Awesome Alley V is last, the quarter 22 and three. American Heights shows the way three parts of a length. Hey there, the daughter of Country Day. Now moves a closer second. Cammy Cat is third. Now on the move, Sid and Pretty's raced up into fourth. The Devil You Say is fifth, about three in front of Ankyra from the backfield. Bell of the Ball is advancing a couple of positions as most impressive is running in place as they round the turn. American Heights confronted by Hey There. Hey There up to the outside. American Heights to the inside. Cammy Cat is third. Sid and Pretty made a big move, but she stalled from fourth. Top and home stretch at American American Heights still grinding along with a furlong to go. American Heights to the inside of Hey There to the outside. Cami Cat switching off cover up into third. American Heights digging down deep. Hey There is trying to press past. Here comes Hey There after American Heights. These two to the wire. Wow, that is extremely close. Very tight photo. American Heights to the inside. Hey There to the outside. It was either a 7-2 to rail runner or a even money to the outside. Bell of the ball outside for Will Walden. They are at the post, and they are racing. Good start for Hey There, American Heights, flashing speed from between horses, The Devil You Say, and up the inside, Cami Cataway in the fourth position. Little Sister Sue, she's climbing up the backside, just got passed by Sitting Pretty, then it's Bell of the Ball, content to track them from seventh. Most impressive towards her inside, The Great and Kyra with an early run up the backside, to still two back to Votary, and then two words up to the extreme outside, and Awesome Alley V is last, the quarter 22 and three. American Heights shows the way three parts of a length. Hey there, the daughter of Country Day. Now moves a closer second. Cami Cat is third. Now on the move, Sid and Pretty's raced up into fourth. The Devil You Say is fifth, about three in front of Ankyra from the backfield. Bell of the Ball is advancing a couple of positions as most impressive is running in place as they round the turn. American Heights confronted by Hey There. Hey There up to the outside. American Heights to the inside. Cami Cat is third. Sid and Pretty made a big move, but she stalled from fourth. Top and home stretch in American American Heights still grinding along with a furlong to go. American Heights to the inside of Hey There to the outside. Cami Cat switching off cover up into third. American Heights digging down deep. Hey There is trying to press past. Here comes Hey There after American Heights. These two to the wire. Wow, that is extremely close. Very tight photo. American Heights to the inside. Hey There to the outside. It was either a 7-2 to rail runner or a even money to the outside. The judges posting the top three finishers. Winner number is six, Speed Warning. Second number three, God of Wine. Finishing third number two, Pace. And there's a photo for fourth. Six, three, two, Photo. Again, the winner number is six, Speed Warning. Good effort from those two back markers. The three, God of Wine, was second last early. Closes up to be second. And Pace, who was far out of it for Calumet, made a... Good stretch rally to get up to be third at 23 to 1. 6 3 2 photo. And they are racing in the Chuck Oaks Memorial. And Miracle Drug had a uh, fast beginning. Superb, also flashing speed. There goes Bertrada trying to catch a hole up the inside from between horses. Bluegrass Anna is going to be in a tough and tight spot covered up by Eclipse. And Maya Angelica is right in the thick of things, too. Not Wild is a length in front of Keep Scrolling. Still three back to CB Thunder. And Lady Genevieve is last of the ten. Up the backside they go. And Superb on through to the inside of Miracle Drug. Three deep. There goes Eclipsed. 
Ranges up to the outside, has a dead aim on the leaders. From between horses, Bluegrass Anna, she's locked in, loaded too. Just going to need some racing luck from here. Bertrada is back into the fifth position. Then from between horses, it's keep scrolling to that one's outside as a race around the turn is My Angelica top at a home stretch and superb. Uh, the big long shot shows away, but here's class dropping Eclipsed and the Bug Boy set to strike. Now Bluegrass Anna has daylight and here she comes at the duo of leaders. We're down to superb and Eclipsed. Eclipse has a lead up the inside at a big number. Here comes Bertrada. They're inside the final 50 yards. Eclipsed is still there. Bluegrass Anna still chasing down to the wire. Eclipse. Got the better of the field. She won three parts of a link to Bluegrass Anna. Then it was Bertrada in a photo there with Keeps Growing and Miracle Drug in 112 flat. She's in. They are at the post. And they are racing. Opening act with a alert beginning, also quick into stride. From between horses, pop and fizz, icy stare down on the inner rail. These three, a length in front of Lily's home away in the fourth position. Then it's Tammy Tap Tap Tap, who's a close up early. Cash him in is right there too in a tight spot as they hit up the backside. Advancing to the outside of horses as they run up the backside, Varsity Blonde into her outside of Star for Core. Royal Wards is in between horses there as well. No tap it out is second last, and she will ghost you at the back of the pack, the quarter, 22 seconds flat. And it's opening act on debut. The daughter of Ghost Sapper showing the way by just about a neck. Pop and fizz to the inside. Here's Tammy Tap 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 and Decky Cannon up in to third about four back to icy stare and lily's home from the backfield wide is no tap it out top of the home stretch and opening act has shouldered the load thus far opening act still up top pop and fizz is under a heavy drive and tammy tap 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 is loose and charging here's tammy tap tap up to the outside of opening act and tammy tap 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 is uh, pushing on pass what a debut performance here for this daughter of candy ride tammy tap 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 wins well prepared by phil bauer on debut to win for richard rigney's rigney racing and starts the pick four at 10 to 1 in 111 and one and they are racing in the 33rd running of the leonidas stakes fantastic again out with a brisk beginning uh, it's fantastic again who leads him into the first turn american speed to the end from second in between horses, Itzos is third, covered up by Longshot, Saturn Boy in fourth. Two links further back, Ray's Kane will stalk that top quartet from fifth. Iron sides towards that one's inside. Mendel's secret after stumbling at the start is second last, an accident is ninth and trailing. They work around the turn after a quarter, 24 seconds flat. They turn up the backside, just outside of five furlongs to go. Fantastic again, showing the way by a link to Saturn Boy from second. American Speed down on the inside third. Ray's Kane, perfectly placed from fourth. Itzos is fifth. And a link for the back to the inside. Ironside's covered up by Mendel's secret. Still three. Back to accident and Hayes strike will have to do it from the back. They pass the half mile. Controlled tempo. 48 seconds flat. Fantastic again. No excuses from here. The even money favorite shows the way of length. Up to the outside. Uh, racing in second. Saturn Boy. Now Ray's Kane cut loose to the outside in third. Uh, American Speed to the inside fourth. Mendel's Secret picking his way uh, up to the outside as they race around the turn. Still chasing Fantastic again. Uh, and Fantastic again will turn him on down under confident handling in the 33rd edition of the Leonidas. Turning for home. Uh, fantastic again. Uh, showing the way. Uh, and with a furlong to go. Fantastic again is on cruise control the jockey just simply a passenger three links for the back to iron sides and american speed but they're inside the final 16th what a performance here fantastic again was pounds the best fantastic again was never asked to run goes coast to coast in 137 flat to take the 33rd running of the leonidas stakes field of 10 to go a mile and 16th to start the double they are at the post and they are racing. Awkward beginning for Moha Fev. Good start for Ocean Atlantique, who's fast away from the gate. Gunton Row and from the high draw, Bullseye Bun. Uh, we'll try to cross and uh, save some ground here as they run on the first turn. Vivar is away in the fourth position, really tugging hard against the jock. Win the day to the outside of him. Moha Fev, after that awkward beginning, has raced up into six, just about six links off those leaders. Two further back to Cool Rags. Row Element is next. Rupp and Ready away in the ninth position. And Kentucky Mist is 10th and trailing. Strung out about 15 links top to bottom in behind Ocean Atlantic, who shows the way with the ears up up the backside by a length and a half. 
It is Bullseye Bun tracking from second. Gunton Row to the outside of Ivar, third and fourth, about four in front of Mohafeth, who's covered up by Win the Day, who's perfectly placed in the sixth position. Still about three lengths further back to Cool Rags, who's four in front of a hard-ridden rogue element. Still three back to Rupp and Ready in Kentucky Miss, continuing to trail. The opening quarter was 24 seconds flat, half mile 47 and two. No twist in the plot, Ocean Atlantique setting the fractions up top. Bullseye Bun is being asked to come and get the pace hitter hard ridden from second. Up on the outside now, win the day. Cut loose to the outside from third. Vivar is fourth. Gunton Row backpedaling from fifth, warming up for the backfield. Cool rags, top at home stretch. And it is Ocean Atlantique still there. Ocean Atlantique off the turn in front by two and a half lengths from the inside. Here comes Rogue Element up to the outside. It's Vivar even further out. Win the day. One sixteenth left. Ocean Atlantique is still there. Vivar is Racing up to the outside, Ocean Atlantique. Vivar running up into second, but Ocean Atlantique wins and goes coast to coast. Wins by about a length. Vivar was second, then when the day was third. Either Rupp and Ready or Cool Rags were fourth and one of 43 and two. Ocean Atlantique. And they are racing. Runaway Harry, Empire Builder, Tawani's test pilot. These four lead the charge to the first turn. Military force away into fifth position. Hague point towards that one's outside uh, as they work around the opening turn. Kushan Bridge is next, advancing uh, deep on the course. There goes Cheyenne's Colonel. Then we trail back about two links to Big Paper, third last future victory, second last, and my boy Patty is on the rail, last of them all. That's a 12 of them as they head up the backside. The quarter comfortable, 24 seconds flat. Runaway Harry shows the way a link to Empire Builder and Utsi from second. Tuwani's racing to the outside of Test Pilot third and fourth. Hague Point really keen to go on, tugging hard against Gerardo there from fourth as Cheyenne's Colonel covers him up there to the outside. Military Force inching forward along the rail. Kushan Bridge is next. And then about a link to 90s Country. Big Paper still third last. No twist of the plot. Future victory second last. And my boy Patty trails. Half mile 48 and one. Runaway Harry still shows the way. Empire Builder pressures up to the outside. Test Pilot moves a closer third. Test Pilot has a dead aim on the leaders from third. Up the inside, military forces underway as they race around the turn towards the top of the home stretch. Runaway Harry still there. Empire Builder to the outside. Three wide comes Test Pilot. Meanwhile, military forces locked and loaded. He's going to have to switch off the trio of leaders as they straight away for the drive. And up top, it's Test Pilot. Just from military force, who's gained the upper hand and Military Force is drawing away here with a 16th to go. Military Force make it three for the Bugboard tonight. Military Force second off the claim for Jay Wong. Wins by about three and a half. Look like Empire Builder was second, then Hague Pointer Test Pilot in 137 and two.